Hey guys, you Will here with Intumobile. We are taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab, and actually this is the Galaxy Tab 2. And uh, how do we know it's the Galaxy Tab 2? Well, it's way bigger than the original tab. The original tab was 7 inches. This guy is 10.1 10 inches big. And notice there are no hardware navigation buttons. That's because this guy uses Android 3.0 Honeycomb made for tablets, and it does away with the need for physical navigation buttons because everything is right. Right there in the lower left-hand corner, we have the back, the home, and the multitask switcher. So if I were to click on this post right there, we just actually posted that. We are live from Barcelona right now We're at Mobile World Congress. We're in, uh, in Samsung's demo room, private demo room. Um, the back button, instead of a physical back button, you just hit the software back button. And, and I was on this post here. I didn't let it fully load, but it'll go back to the home screen, of course. There we go. And of course, if I want to go home, there's no physical home screen. I just hit the home button there. And if I want to, if I, if I am, if I if, say I'm in the browser, and I want to switch around, all you have to do is, oh, hit the little multitask button, and I'm going to go back to Google Talk. It's that easy. It's that simple. You just click and switch. Click and switch. Real easy, right? And uh, notice that the browser is running full Flash. We got the Flash ad going over here. That's because this is Android, and it's fully compatible with Adobe's Flash technology. Um, but enough about that. We've seen a lot of Honeycomb already, and uh, here are the various... Uh, the various home screens. We don't really have anything loaded up on the home screens, but uh, to um, give you a quick little over overview, apps is up there, and you could go through all your apps like so. We don't have too many here. So if I were to add one, wanted to add one to the home screen, I could pick which home screen I want to add it to and go like that. I can also, I'm going to hit the home button right there, I can also change up the home screen by adding widgets. I can say add this widget. I just hold it down and drag it to whichever home screen I want it to be on. I want it to be on that home screen, okay. And then I want this widget to be on this home screen. And I want to change the wallpaper, like so. And uh, it's that easy. And of course, I'm going to hit the home button to go back. And that's a quick little software overview of uh, Android 3.0 Honeycomb. Oh, of course, the, navigate, the notifications right there. Really uh, full feature notifications that give you a lot of information and uh, allow you to drill down into quick access for settings for um, power connectivity and stuff like that. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the hardware real quick. So, feels good in the hand. It's actually a bit heavy. Um, it's 10 inches, so it's going to be a bit heavy. But it's still lighter than an iPad. Um, real smooth, actually. A dual core processor and the quad core GPU actually make all these animations and all these screen switches really smooth and fluid. And you'll notice. All the swiping action is very smooth, um, but we've got the Samsung dock connector down there. We've got the one of the sets of stereo speakers right there, the SIM card slot right there, the volume control, the other half of the stereo speaker pair, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the power button right there. And uh, let's take a look at the back. So the back is actually textured. It's textured plastic, and it actually feels pretty cool. It's kind of like something you find on a car dashboard. So uh, you can let's see if you can hear it. You're right. So that's uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a hatched uh, uh, plastic molded plastic there, and a cool metallic Samsung uh, logo there. And of course, the 8 megapixel camera on the back with the flash and the front-facing camera for video chat there. So that's been a quick little look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. Thank you.